Hello friends, welcome to all. So today in this video, you will learn how to install SH or SH server in Windows 10, 11 or Windows 2000, 2019 server or other Windows operating system. You can follow these steps here. So first we need a PowerShell here. So I will search here Power PowerShell. Okay, and I need to open this run as the administrator. I can here right click and run as the administrator I can do or directly here as well also. So let me make it run as the administrator here and here we need to make a yes. Okay, now it has been opened here. So before that we need to check uh, the asset server is installed or not. So first I will let you know as such a uh, server, this package belongs to open as such. Open. SH. So I need to check that open SH package is installed or not. So right now I'm performing this action on Windows 10 here and same similar steps you can follow uh, on Windows 11, Windows 2019 and other compa uh, under compatible operating system. You can follow the steps also. So let's check here. So we will use a get command here hyphen uh, Windows. Okay, now I use the tab here and it will give me the complete command in uh, get hyphen windows capability and hyphen online. Okay, and uh, let's check with the name. Uh, so name I can make it open and let me use a I can use a open let me use the asterisk sign. So it will show all the open related. Let's check it. Now, now you can see here. Uh, uh, open as ser server is not present here and uh, open SH client is there here. So if you want to take any, uh, if you want to, you don't need a putty here. If you want, you can directly take a SH and any IP or SH uh, username at the rate IP and you can log in here. But uh, if you want to take the, uh, if you want to take this, uh, uh, this Windows, uh, right now I'm using a Windows 10 and you want to take a remote of this Windows 10 to another server. So we need to install it here. So right now it's not present. So we will learn how to install it here. So after that it will, it will come as like here. So let's learn these things as well also. So now, uh, earlier I used the get command. So now this time I will use a add instead of a get and window. Okay, same command windows capabilities and uh, and after that hyphen and all line and uh, let's give a name here. Name. And I will take this name here. So same, let me copy it here. Let me make an enter and it copied and paste here. Now let's try to install it. Now you can see it's installing right now here. Now you can see here. And it's depend upon your internet bandwidth, how much time it will take. Now it has been installed here. Now you can check it. Okay, so now it has been installed. Let's verify it again. Okay, so I will repeat uh, before uh, I, uh, I'm repeating this command again, get hyphen windows capabilities, uh, space hyphen online space hyphen name open and let's check it again. Now you can see it has been installed. So earlier it was not installed here. So you can check here. Now here it has been installed here. Okay. Okay, now let's do the next steps here. So now uh, let's verify the open SSH service. So I need to verify the first services here. So let me use a get hyphen service. And uh, let's verify with the SHD. Now it's stopped here. Okay, fine. And let's check SH hyphen Zent also. Now it's also stopped. Okay, so let me enable these services at a boot time. So uh, when we are reboot the system, so automatically the service should be come here. So let me enable the service at boot time. So I need to use a command set hyphen service hyphen name sshd SSG is a diamond name, process name, and uh, 
hyphen start startup type okay and let me make it automatic okay okay now okay now let me repeat the same command for sshd sh hyphen agent as well also hyphen agent okay now we have uh, enabled the services now automatically the service will be start at the boot time so let me start the services now we need to start the services so i will use a start command hyphen service okay and i want to start a shd okay now let's me start a hyphen such hyphen agent services also okay now let's verify the services again with a get command let's check it here now i can see it has been started and uh, let's check it uh, again for agent okay so now perfectly so now you can see earlier it was a stop state and now uh, SH service is running and SH hyphen agent is also in running state here. Okay, so now let's verify this connection. So we have a two way, uh, so we can use a putty or either we can directly, we can access on a, uh, I can use a here. Uh, directly I can use CMD mode here or either I can use a putty if you want to use a putty so just you can search on a putty download and uh, after that you can open this link uh, here put uh, download putty uh, latest release here you can visit this website here so already I visited here and uh, it will open this one here and you can download here any winery here so already i have downloaded here so if you want you can click it here and it will download it okay so in here now it's started a download here but already in my operating system we have downloaded here so already put is here okay so i uh, i need a ip of my operating system or either i can use my uh, 27.0.0.1 i can use either loopback ip and if you don't want to use a loopback ip uh, uh, so you can use uh, uh, you can check your ip how you can check a uh, check ip you can use a windows key plus r Okay, so it will open your run. So here I'm using Windows key plus R. So it will open this run here. And uh, here you can type ncpa.cpl. Okay, and here uh, I, I have a Wi-Fi and detail. So here I can check which what is my IP here. I can I can try to connect this IP as well also. Let's try this IP to connect here. So instead of hello, loopback ip i will try to connect with this ip so let me put here 192.168.204.40 and uh, it's working on the port number 22 uh, but one more thing uh, suppose uh, if if you are trying to connect an, another remote server so might be it it will be this it will be block from a firewall site so you need to enable your firewall also so again windows r you will open a run here and you need to type a firewall.cpl so and uh, here uh, my firewall is already off okay already off if your firewall is not off so you need to make your firewall off here okay so that's the changings you need to do okay so all right now mine is protected with a mcafe so here okay so you need to off your firewall here okay so let's try to connect here open and now i can see it is uh, taking accept here and here i can uh, i can give my username and password and i can connect here so let me give my username so my username is a hariom and let me give my password here now i can see i'm connected here with the sh here and i can check the directories here okay and same things you can do with a, if you don't want to use a putty and uh, directly you want to connect uh, with the cmd yes of course you can do with the cmd also so here okay so we, uh, cmd uh, how you can open windows r and the cmd you can type and it, it will open here and you can type as such and you need to put ip what is ip is 192.168.204.40 okay 
dot uh, mine IP is four zero, and uh, now it will making uh, it was asking for to continue. Are you sure want to continue connecting? Yes, and I need to give the password here. Let me provide my password here. Now I'm connected here. Okay, same things here, and let's do here directory, and I can see the directories here. So now we have uh, perfectly, we have configured SSH here as SS server and uh, we can connect this Windows uh, 10 anywhere, okay, on the same network. And uh, let me show the steps here. So these are the steps you can follow and let's, uh, uh, let me recap it here. Step one, first you need to check the open SSH package is installed or not, you can use a get windows capability hyphen space hyphen online space hyphen name open asterisk asterisk it will open it will show all the open as such and after that uh, if you want to install you can use this command add hyphen windows capability and uh, space hyphen online online space hyphen name open as a dot server you can copy it from the output and after that step three you need to verify it, the open as a service okay Okay, get hyphen services is the command SHD and SSH agent. You can verify and step four. Uh, so before starting the open SSH service, we need to enable them and set to start at a boot time. So we can use a set hyphen service command space hyphen name and SSHD space hyphen start type automatic and same things you need to do be the SH hyphen agent. And last step, you need to start a uh, both the services with the help of a start command, start hyphen services and your SHD and start hyphen service and again SH hyphen agent. And after that, you can verify with a, uh, either you can use a Putty, uh, you can download the Putty, uh, Putty or uh, or either you can open a CMD command prompt and you can run SH and username at the rate uh, IP. Uh, either uh, uh, like that you can do it and after that you can put your password and uh, you can verify it. So thanks for watching this video and please share your feedback also.